Hi, how are y'all? Uh, it's been a little while since I've done one of these, and uh, even though you might know it by the content, uh, it's been, uh, I guess, about six, eight months or more. And it's taken us about two years to get all this done, and I think this is the last section that we need to get done. Um, why did I leave this section out? I can't tell you why. It is particularly tedious. There's a tremendous amount of uh, drawings that have to be done and accuracy on getting these things expressed and, and described uh, appropriately so that they come across clearly. Also, there is a tremendous amount of algebra that's created on this or can be done with, with this particular section. Uh, so I have postponed it and now it's time to make it happen. Uh, it's been exciting around here at uh, Decatur High School, in the middle of the semester exams in uh, January of 2016. Uh, yesterday somebody decided they didn't want to take their exam so <laughs> called in a bomb threat so we got to spend the afternoon out on the football practice field. Thank goodness it was a nice 60 degree day. Uh, not like it will be this weekend. So we've had some excitement. It's been fun. Um, one of the things I, that has happened in these two years is that we have adopted new textbooks and there's been a little bit of change They're by the same manufacturer. Uh, Glencoe was uh, basically taken over by McGraw-Hill and so it's the same manufacturer. However, the chapter uh, uh, headings and everything have changed just a little bit. Going under the original titles and the original uh, breakout and divisions, we're going to name this Chapter 5-1. And in the original that we started with, so that we'll be consistent, is that is named as Bisectors, Medians, and Altitudes. Now, if you'll look at Chapter 4, we're talking about triangles. So we're again still talking about triangles. We're not through with those things. Okay, so we're going to jump in the middle of this and we're going to talk about bisectors of triangles. And notice that is plural because there's a couple of them we're going to talk about. Medians, um, we're going to talk about those and we're going to talk about altitudes and their uh, role or characteristics in triangles. Um, now in the new McGraw-Hill book in geometry, particularly in Texas, You'll notice that this subject is broken up into two parts, into 5.1 and 5.2. The rest of the chapter 5 follows the old Glencoe book, however it's numbered one more. So 5.3 in the new book would be 5.2, in the old Glen Glencoe book 5.4, in the new book would be 5.3, so forth and so on. So just find the topic that you need and, and watch it on YouTube. If you're getting it off the flash drive, uh, you're going to have to hunt and peck a little bit, but it'll still be 5.1, uh, 5.2. Um, on, on the flash drive will be 5.3, so forth and so on. 5.1 and 5.2 in the new book will be all be covered under 5.1 on the video and on the flash drive. Okay, now that we've gotten all that confusion out of the way, let's get in here, jump in here and talk about this. A little bit there's some things we need to know up front we're talking about triangles but there's some things we need to know about lines particular types of lines and we want to know about concurrent lines we're talking about geometry concurrent lines are three or more lines that intersect at the same point or at a common point okay those are concurrent lines the point of concurrency of those lines is the common point created by the intersection of three or more lines. It's sort of like a circular um, definition. Point of concurrency, well, that's the point where these three or more lines come together. What are concurrent lines? It's where they meet. Three or more lines meet at one point. Okay, now, what does that look like? Let's say we have lines L, M, and N. And they all intersect at point D. Well, lines L, M, and N are concurrent lines, okay? D is the point of concurrency, okay? So we need those definitions. You need to have that in there. Now, this particular one is just out in the open on a plane, all right? Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to actually be creating those concurrent lines by drawing bisectors, medians, and altitudes, okay? 
So those lines of concurrency, those concurrent lines are going to have names. All right? And the point of concurrency for that particular one, like for perpendicular bisector, will have a very particular name. They'll have a very particular meaning and certain characteristics. The same thing with angle bisectors. Same thing with medians and the same thing with altitudes. But all we're talking about, the foundation we're talking about, is we're talking about drawing lines in triangles that cross all at the same spot. And when that happens, we call them concurrent lines, and their point of concurrency is where they all meet. Okay, well let's dive in on one and see what we can do with it.